Yo YouTube, it's Creed here. I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to set up the Dazzle DVD or cap card or anything. It doesn't have to be a DVC 100. It could be any capture card. So here's the few things you're going to need. First, here's just the Dazzle DVC 100. It looks like this. It's got the USB cord on one side, the three AV inputs. Then you're going to need a just AV cable doesn't matter how what size as long as it reaches from your TV to your computer since mine's right next to my TV all I need it was like a three foot cable and then you're gonna need three Y cables they look like this they got two inputs one white one red and then a uh, input into the TV or like an output so you can you can get these it basically any store that sells TVs I got mine at Best Buy because they're having a sale but they also have them at Radio Shack they might have them at Walmart I'm not sure I just got them at Best Buy but you're on here's what the what they're like called you they're um one male two female Y cables so look for those you need three of them all right so First off, you could just take your Dazzle, plug in the yellow, one side of the yellow AV cable into it. It's kind of hard to do here with one hand. Hold on. There, and then. Put this one here. one here all right then you will take your one of your Y cables and notice they have a red side on the Y cable and a white side so you're gonna want to keep all of your Xbox cables that like coming from the Xbox on one side and all your just your AV cables that go to the dazzle on one side so I'll put all my AV cables that go to the dazzle on the white side so I want to take these, plug my white one in here. This is really hard to do with one hand. Alright, take another one, plug the red one into the white jack, take your other one. Put the yellow into the white jack. There. Now to take it to the TV. Right. Pull this out so I can get in here. Take it here. All right. Now bring your Y cables over the back of your TV. So. Here's my Xbox cables. I'm running Component because like HDTV. If you don't have Component, you can still do it. But what most people don't realize is that even if you have a Dazzle, you can't. You can still use your Component cables. So here, here's what you have to do. You take your. See, this one has my red AV cable going to the Dazzle, so I take my red Xbox cable. A red Xbox cable, put it into the red side that has all gonna have all my Xbox inputs. Then I take the one that has the white, won't go into the dazzle, put the white input from my Xbox. So this one will look like this. Plug those into your TV. And this will work if you have turtle beaches. I'm just going to take mine off because I don't use my turtle beaches anymore. So, 
the Xbox cables fell out because it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Alright, so you just plug those into your red and white inputs in the TV. And then here's your yellow cable, last one. So if you use the green, blue, and red cables, which are the component um, output outputs into your TV, um, what you're going to do is you'll still plug in your yellow cable in here so the picture will be running to the dazzle. But you don't plug it into your TV. So I'm not going to plug it into my TV. But if you don't use the... Uh, green, blue, and red, and you have just like a standard TV, you'll plug it into your yellow input, but I'm not going to because I use component. And then all you do is plug in these to your TV, your other remaining Xbox outputs. And so now you got just the dazzle left. Sorry, that was so shaky. All right. Now what you're gonna want to do is plug this USB from the dazzle into your any USB input in the computer. This isn't my first time doing it, I just unplugged everything so I could show you guys how to do it. Well, when you're going to do it, it's going to pop up and it'll install the drivers, software and drivers, but you got to make sure you never take that USB out unless you go here and safely remove it. I'm not going to press it because I'll just, I leave it in there. Otherwise, the drivers will be all messed up and then you'll have to uninstall the driver software safe and then remove it and then you'll have to install the drivers from the website I might do a tutorial on how to do that but that's how, basically how you set up the dazzle hope this helped you and I hope that it wasn't too shaky or anything All right. thanks rate comment and subscribe